all staying safe and well and welcome to my little film and TV channel. We have a film review today over to the wonderful world of Netflix. So uh, yeah, I think this has been on there for a, a couple of weeks now, two or three weeks, but uh, I thought I'd give it a watch because I, I, I sort of uh, ignored it, but uh, I'd seen some fairly mediocre reviews and but I thought yeah it was a premise I sort of quite liked another, another pandemic sort of thing but uh, there you go we're uh, uh, not had too much of them I mean, never, never enough I was watching zombies again last night so it's, we always enjoy things like this so it's a 15 rating we're gonna have a look at a, a little film called Awake today please if you're new to the channel push that subscribe button Push the bell notification all these uh, film and TV vlogs are coming out, information vlogs, review vlogs, and you'll also see some stuff on my football team, Manchester City, as well. So, if that's of any interest, uh, please check that out. Or, not. or if you know someone who might be interested, please point them in my direction, I'd be very grateful. There's links on screen for Facebook and Twitter, and I also have a little uh, couple of shops on uh, eBay for uh, movies, DVDs, uh, some in the background, uh, board games, and uh, posters as well. So, in the 90s and 2000s, when I used to have a little video shop. so can check that out if you get a chance fantastic if you need any problems just just dm me and i'll sort it out for you and uh, please all your comments are welcome on this film or anything to do with film and tv and of course uh, give us a thumbs up even even fat, more fantastic right yeah 96 minutes a 15 rating a science fiction uh, thriller film directed by mark raso from a screenplay he wrote alongside joseph raso which was that is that his is that his brother? I'm not too sure. I didn't look into it that uh, so, uh, that deeply. Uh, so there. It stars Gina Rodriguez in the sort of in the star part. Jennifer Jason Lee, Barry Pepper, Finn Jones, Shamir Anderson, Ariana Greenblatt, Francis Fisher, uh, Elias Edraki, Lucius Hoyas, and Gil Bellows. Yeah, Gil Bellows. Nice to see you, Gil. Uh, what's it about? Well, global hysteria. Here we go. Ensure ensues after a mysterious catastrophe wipes out all electronics and takes away humanity's ability to sleep. Scientists race against the clock to find the cure for the unexplained insomnia before its fatal effects eliminate the human race. When Jill, a former soldier, discovers her young daughter may be the key to salvation, she must decide, protect her children at all costs, or sacrifice everything to save the world. Well, do both. Do both. That'd be probably be better. Is it any good? Well, all these scores are at uh, 9am UK time on the 6th of July 2021. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, not overly impressed. 27% positivity from 49 critics' reviews. An average rating only a 4.5 out of 10, so not great. That's 13 fresh reviews and 36 rotten. Uh, a fresh review from Monica Castillo from RogerEbert.com. She said, Awake has just enough scares and strangeness plus a sense of dread and paranoia to make its horror creepy and enjoyable. There you go. I, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go divert far from that one. A rotten review, though, from Benjamin Lee of The Guardian. He said, Seemingly designed purely to lazily fill the column off, column off if you like Bird Box, then you should also watch. A bit, a bit mean. There's nothing here that hasn't been done before and better. A film that lumbers up to the table with completely empty hands. So then Benjamin Lee didn't like it, did he, from The Guardian? The consensus of the website reads, A scattered and shallow disaster flick. Awake will have audiences reaching for the snooze button. The audience Rotten Tomatoes, well, they, they, they do agree with the critics. Uh, they've been very mean. 27% uh, positivity only and 2.2 .2 out of 5, which equates obviously to 4.4 out of 10, which isn't fantastic, is it? We always have a look at Metacritic, of course. And this is, uh, again, it's not much better on there. It's got an average score of 35 out of 100 based on 13, 1, 3, 13 critics uh, scoring between a derisory 12 from Slap magazine. I'm, I won't mention who, who it is, but uh, that is a bit, bit mean, 12 out, of, 12 out of 100. And uh, to 70 out of 100, which is far better, obviously. But uh, yeah, and I think that was Mr. Los Angeles Times' Michael Ordono, who was certainly in the minority on this. But he wrote, if the end of the world genre seems downright some nambulant there you go there's a word which means resembling or characteristic of a sleepwalker sluggish there you go i, I learned something today i always learn something some of these critics with some of the words there you go some nambulant there you go resembling or characteristic of a sleepwalker sluggish so in other words if the end of the world genre seems downright sluggish lately uh, awake is jolting proof a fiendishly clever twist can shake it from its doldrums. Oh, a fiendishly clever twist. Well, you know, more of that in a moment. Internet Movie Database, I don't, without any spoilers, of course. Internet Movie, Internet movie Database, 4.8 out of 10. 
that's Joe Public, that's you and me, that's, that's the watches again, but quite low. 17,374 scores and reviews been left. Uh, and yeah, and the comments do range between someone saying it wasn't horrible to someone saying it's uh, not too good. So, I mean, and all 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 stations in between and, and extremes, if you like, of, of that. Uh, there's some 1 out of 10s, there's some 10 out of the 10s, there you go. Uh, and of that uh, 17,374, at least a healthy, a healthy, if not, if not, uh, majority percentage 8,309 actually did score it six or more and give it a four, so that's 48 percent of the people. So, not a total disaster. So, it was sort of well worth a watch, right? My little thoughts, yeah. I mean, that criticism early on, which I've seen, uh, we've seen it all before and better. Of course, we've seen it all before. I mean, uh, fair, I mean, in all fairness, is, that's that's a bit of a, a mean and lazy criticism. Yes, it is. A, it is a criticism. And yes, of course, we've seen everything before. And of course, we've seen better movies than this. But uh, as, a, as a flippant statement, I, I'm not sort of having that. Um, the I mean, the characters are quite interesting in this. Uh, I mean, does the story keep you interested? I think it certainly kept me interested and despite many critics saying they dozed off which i've read many times i think it just about does enough to hold your attention i certainly wasn't reaching for my mobile phone to check social media every five minutes which i do for a lot of films these days on netflix amazon or, or even the big blockbusters to be honest with you uh all right we don't have zombies which i like we don't have aliens which i like uh and all, all and at least it is a little bit of a twist on the pandemic i said yes it's not it's been done before similar things yeah but at least it's a twist on the pandemic scenario you sort of try to wonder what's happened at the start you know is it aliens is it something else blah so at least it has you thinking a little bit even though it isn't pretty much turn your brain off sort of thing but uh there you go. And okay, I was asking from very early on. Someone said about the twist, didn't they? From very from from about fifteen twenty minutes in, I was asking why no one had sussed out what the cure was. But uh, there you go. Uh, I still remain quite entertained for the for the following hour while I was watching it. So I can say there might have been a slight twist on what I thought, but obviously there wasn't. But uh, yeah, so but it still didn't put me off watching the thing and, and quite enjoying. I mean, the acting was very passable. Uh, there was some some iffy ones, some good ones, but I have to. Give a special mention, of course, for Ariana Greenblatt, who uh, who was possibly the little star of the show in my eyes, and uh, appears to be getting better and better as she does uh, movie after movie. But uh, she did she did a really good job in this, and uh, she sort of helped make it for me as well. I mean, I do pay. Uh, my Netflix subscription mainly for the TV stuff, the series, you know, the seasons and stuff like that. But it's an, uh, occasionally if I get an okay film to watch, I'm quite happy, and it's it's nice to see that. I thought I thought this was this film was was an okay film. It's a turn your brain off, as I say. Once I sussed out uh, what the cure was fairly early, but they you know, say it didn't didn't stop me being entertained. Uh, and this is certainly falls into the entertainment category, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, there's too many. Uh, especially the critics who expect too much from these sort of it's not a hyped up or blockbuster film i don't i don't assume the the budget was much it's not dubbed which uh, you know i do it does annoy me on netflix when you start to watch a film and it's dubbed and or a tv series and it's dubbed um so I'll give it, I'll give it, I'll give it a plus point for that. As I say, it's not, it's not all. You don't always get that with Netflix, unfortunately. So, uh, sadly, most of the viewing public ag agreed with the critics, didn't they? Looks at looking at those reviews, and I, I think we expect a little bit too much from some of these films. I mean, I'm quite happy. Perhaps I, perhaps I give it too much credence because it is on Netflix, and I, I don't expect much. But uh, perhaps I shouldn't judge it like that. But I do. That's just just me as as, as how I feel about these things. So, yeah, I thought it was a really good. Uh, good evenings entertainment for an hour and a half. As I say, I could just just watch it, go with the flow. Yes, it had many, many, many problems. Of course, it did, but it was just just entertainment for me. And my little score. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go mad. I'm not just gonna give it a watchable rating. I'm gonna give it a six point five out of ten, which is far far higher than most people. But as I say, let let me know what you think anyway. But I just said I I don't expect too much from these Netflix things, and when I get something that keeps me entertained for an hour and a half, I'm I'm quite happy. And obviously, uh, hopefully, you'd be happy if you watch this as well. If you like a good sci-fi pandemic sort of uh, thing, and as I say, it, it was all right. I've seen it before. I mean, but it was a, it, just an interesting scenario for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm six. I'm sixty-two. I'm sixty-two today. But I just thought 
But uh, yeah, I've seen, of course, I've seen it all before, and I will always, everything that comes out, I've seen it all before. Yes, and it's been done better, but this is a not a bad little watch, so uh, let me know what you think, anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do rest day? Have a great one. Catch yourselves, catch your friends, catch your families, and more importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Film and TV channel, or perhaps have a flit across, have a look at my Citizen channel, my football channel. I only ask one thing, please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.